Alright guys, this is uh, the small spaghetti squash, uh, the gold ones. I don't remember the exact name, but they're the miniature ones. They don't get over about that big. They're single serving spaghetti squashes. Got, I got like five plants right here. These things are doing so good. I mean, they got a little squash on them everywhere. They're loaded. I mean, I don't want to mess them up, but you can see there's... Look at the squash down in there. there look at there's one there, one there. Two back in yonder, one right here, another one way over yonder. I mean, I'm sitting here. These things are literally loaded with squash. And spaghetti squash is something here at, our, at Deep South Homestead we've had a problem with growing. Now, they aren't completely matured yet. Something could happen. But as of right now, I'm very tickled with these. These are fantastic. So guys, this variety of spaghetti squash came from Hoss Tool Seed Company. Uh, you might want to check them out. Uh, their seeds are fantastic. These, these I, I can't complain. I will be planting these from now on. Uh, these things are producing. Spaghetti squash is one of the things that I love here. I have a gluten issue. I can't eat most of the spaghetti out there. Uh, and I have a corn issue with lots of corn, so I can't eat the pasta, corn pasta spaghettis and anything like that. But the spaghetti squash is my go-to for my spaghetti. So I am so happy that I found this variety through Hoss Tool Seed Company. Okay, guys, we decided to make a few changes. Uh, tw uh, Twelve days ago, I shot the first part of this video, and we were going to put it up. But I told Wanda, I said, you know what, let's wait. Let's just see what these squash do in another couple of weeks. So we, we like a couple of days being a couple of weeks, but I want, guys, I'm amazed. And the first part, I couldn't remember the name of these uh, squash, but they're called Small Wonder Spaghetti Squash from Hoss Tools. And I can tell you right now, if these things continue like they're going, I'm going to be using these from now on. I'll be, uh, Greg and Travis, you see this? Yep, that's going to be on my list. I'm going to be needing some more seeds. Uh, but guys, I want you to just look at this. This is five plants right here. Literally, five plants. And, I, and everything you see behind me. But now, that's not, the, that's not the part that amazes me. What amazes me is what's below the plant. Look in here. You see that? Everywhere you look in this plant, that's the way it is. If I pull the leaves back over here, there's two right back there. If we walk around, it doesn't matter where I pull these leaves back at, there's, there's these spaghetti squashes. If I come up here and pull these back in here, I don't know how we can, if we can get the camera in there. There's more back in the corner back yonder. There's another one. If I come down even further, there's two more laying right here. Three, four, right here. Get down in there where you can see all them. They're just all in here. I mean, it doesn't matter where I go. Anywhere down this plant, look, look at that. There's squash. They're everywhere. I mean, literally, if I pull these leaves back, there's squash in here. I am just amazed at, there's back in the corner there behind it, there's more. So, and, and if I come around the end down here, I mean, it's still going. I don't know how long this thing will actually get. Now it's done made it to Miss Wanda's pomegranate tree here. And look on the ends of the vines out here. They're all up in the garlic. And I want you to look at this here. We're on the other side of the plant now. Look up under these leaves all up under in here. It doesn't matter where you go on this plant. These things are literally everywhere. So now they've outgrown their bed, and I, I don't know how far these things will grow. I was thinking maybe by cause they, because they were called a small wonder, 
they were going to be like a small bush type vine or something like that. So I put five seeds right here and I, I don't know how big it's going to get now. I've got to, I've got to try to keep them up the hill as much as I can because I've got a greenhouse coming, our second greenhouse, and it's going to go right in the edge of these squash right here, the pipes are, and I'm not about to get rid of my squash right now. So we're going to try to keep training these things up the hill as much as we can. And it might mean that I can't mow my yard for a while. It might mean a lot of things. Okay, guys, we planted five seed. One and I just took time, went through these plants, and we counted like 50 squash on five plants. Now, about 40 of them are about this size right here. And then there's a bunch of little ones. And look, we're still early in the season, so I don't know exactly how many squash these plants are gonna make. That's 10 squash per plant if you just rounded it off. It could be more on one plant than the other. I don't know because we couldn't trace the roots and all this stuff, but we counted right around 50 give or take one could have been 52 could have been 49 we was right there because we were both counting and guys it's amazing from five seeds so uh, stay with us and watch the progress of these things I am amazed at how well they have done this is the first spaghetti squash I've ever come across that I could grow efficiently and have something that would actually show for the labor and the effort that I put into it. So guys, check out Hoss Tools, Small Wonder, Spaghetti Squash. I think you will be amazed at what they can do for you. And they're like one person serving size. That's all I need. They're one for Wanda, one for me. And guys, the best part about it is they're a sustainable food that will last for a long time if you wait till they get ripe to pick them. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.